How are we doing guys? Always to be. So, you'll notice I'm wearing the colours of red today, the colours of Espana, but guys, there is perfect reason for that. Leeds United have broken their transfer record. You heard that right. Leeds United have broken their transfer record. Now, there'll be a lot of you watching this, younger fans, um, probably my age and younger, who never thought they'd see this day come. Never ever thought they'd see this day come. And it has done, guys. It has done, because Leeds United are back in the big time. Rodrigo Moreno signs for Leeds United on a four-year deal. Look, it's been in the pipeline for a long time now, but it's finally over the line. Saturday, this morning, it's being confirmed. So guys, I thought I'd throw on the Spanish shirt and celebrate the news, guys, because this is an absolutely immense signing. This is absolutely immense. Look, I'm not going to jinx Rodrigo like I jinx John Kevin Augustan. I know every signing has a risk to it. Yes, he's 29, etc, etc. But this is the type of signing we needed to make in Premier League football. You know, someone who runs in behind, someone who's direct, someone who can stretch a pitch, has that bit of pace in behind, can score a goal, creates plenty. You know, I think you only have to look at the stats um, and the OFC data has found out about um, Rodrigo Moreno in the last week or so. I think he's third in terms of non-penalty goals per 90 in the whole of the Liga. And you know the two players ahead of him? Lionel Messi, Luis Suarez. So basically, you're looking at that and thinking he's one of the, f <laughs> you know, he's the third best striker in the league to an extent. <laughs> if you want to go look at it from that point of view, um, you know, if you want to look at it from that point of view, but absolutely immense those um, kind of stats. You know, that's the kind of level we're signing here. Um, you know, of course, he didn't score many last season, but you have to take it into context. You know, he's playing in Valencia, very, very defensive team, very, very defensive team under Marcelino, uh, scored very few goals. So. Again, you're going from one extreme to the other. You're going from that to Marcelo Bielsa. I think you're just going to see a fantastic Rodrigo Moreno. I think he's playing in the perfect environment. You know, he's got players that link, can link up play around him. Jack Harrison, Helder Costa, Pavel Hernandez. And they all three, well, especially Jack Harrison, um, Helder Costa, they can then learn a lot from Rodrigo Moreno, playing from player, playing with a player of that quality. And, and yeah, this is absolutely immense, guys, isn't it? You know, I think we're the most left-footed team in the Premier League, probably. <laughs> Everyone seems to be left footed these days, other than Pablo Hernandez, Mateus Click. But this is absolutely unreal, guys. I mean, he's actually in the Spain squad at the moment. He could be playing um, ne next, uh, I think it's Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not sure when the game is against Germany, you know, in a couple of weeks' time. We know there's a certain uh, German international we're looking at as well, which I'm going to mention on another video, because this one is all about Espana and our certain Rodrigo Moreno and Pablo Hernandez link up, because that's what I'm most excited about of all guys. You know, having someone like Rodrigo running ahead of Pablo and Pablo just putting those through balls into him, and we're getting goals from that for me. Um, and I'm very confident of that as well. Of course, his first his first task is finding his position. You know, what position is he going to play in this team? You know, is he going to play as a centre forward? Or is he going to play as a false nine? Is he going to play out wide? Is he going to play in the number 10 role? And that's what's really good about Rodrigo. We can play in several different positions. And that's what we need more than anything. You know, not just a specific player to a specific position. You know, I've seen a lot of talk of, we need to sign a 10. We need to sign a striker. We need to sign a winger. And I'm not necessarily disagreeing with that. But at the end of the day, you're not going to find Marcelo Bielsa making three different signings. He's not just going to sign a winger and a striker and a number 10. He's going to always try and sign a player who can do all three roles, and that is Rodrigo Moreno. You know, we're talking about creativity. I think in terms of big chances created, I think he was second to Lionel Messi. He's either second or third to Lionel Messi, and, and that sums it up really. I think 13 big chances created in the last couple, couple of years, and, and that's absolutely immense stuff really. You know, we, we can see he's clearly a creative player, so we can clearly play deeper with Pat, Patrick Bamford ahead of him. Who knows? But I think I look at Rodrigo and I think he can adapt to any sort of player in this team in terms of his strengths. He can adapt to a Helder Costa, um, he can adapt to a Jack Harrison, he can adapt to a Patrick Bamford, because let's be honest, Patrick Bamford and Helder Costa are very different kind of players. Um, you know, one likes to drop in, the other likes to take the players on, etc, etc. And Rodrigo can adapt to that, and that could be m most key of all. You know, when you sign just one of each position, you know, if you just sign one out-and-out number nine, one out-and-out winger, one out-and-out number ten, it's hard to gel them into the team, and especially with so little time, I think it's good just having a player who can just play all three different positions and that's absolutely key. You know, I think it sort of to an extent really transforms our attack. You know, we have got real top quality in there now. We can really take the game by the scruff of the neck. Look, I absolutely love Jack Harrison, Held the cost of Patrick Bamford. But I think I didn't feel that in terms of goals themselves that that's what they offered. I thought all excellent players all offer loads in the link up, the build up, etc etc, work hard. But I didn't think any any of those three players could really take a game by the scruff of the neck, you know, in terms of 
The game's nil nil with 10 minutes to go. He needs someone to get that winner. I just feel Rodrigo's that man for us, or someone who can just make that little thing happen for us, you know, in the, in the last moments of the game. And, and that's absolutely key. And look, <laughs> as much as we talk about a Spanish international, etc., etc., there's no guarantees Rodrigo will even start yet. You know, it's still two weeks till the season starts. He's probably going to get a week at, absolute, at the absolute most in training. But what an option to have. What an option to have in the team, guys. And let us know in the comments down below your thoughts on this one. I've seen a lot of talk about Ollie Watkins. And, um, and to be fair, I was at the ground yesterday, guys. Um, did meet up with a couple of you outside the club shop in that lot. And, um, and in and around the ground. Absolutely superb. That. Absolutely, I always, always love that. Always love that. Um, you know, just chatting about Leeds, really. You know what I mean? And... Um, and yeah, I'm not going to say what I was doing at the ground yesterday, but something very, very exciting. Very, very exciting. Um, possibly coming to your TV screen soon. I will an announce what it was close to the time when um, when it is actually going live. But yeah, some very exciting things to be coming to your TV screen soon, uh, representing all these TV and hopefully the whole team um, you know, as the season goes on. But yeah, I think the big thing was, obviously, Ollie Watkins was another player mentioned. Um, Hudson Eduard as well from Celtic was mentioned too. A couple of other championship strikers. Um, I think the Hearn Grant as well from uh, Carlin Grant from um, Huddersfield too. But I think you look at those players and I think there's a risk element attached to those. You know, look at Ollie Watkins. I know he scored all those goals last season. I think he's an amazing player, to be fair. But we've seen so many players from last season's championship in 18-19 go to the Premier League. You know, um, Neil Morpé, for one. Uh, Timu Puki, another one. David McGoldrick, Che Adams, Ollie McBurney, and none of those five really made any kind of impression in the Premier League last season. I think Ollie McBurney did okay, but none of them really scored the goals they did at the Championship level, and that's a big thing. It's a massive risk. This, you know, just because Ollie Watkins has done well at Brentford doesn't mean he'd do well at, at Leeds level. Just because some Eduard's done well at Celtic doesn't mean he'll do well at Leeds level. It's a big step up. But for Rodrigo Moreno, I'd possibly argue the last couple of years, league, the league has almost overtaken the Premier League. In terms of technical quality, in terms of defensive ability especially, I think you see so many top quality centre-halves in the, in the league these days. You know, Diego, Diego Carlos playing for Sevilla. I think Sevilla are only fourth in the Liga. He would easily walk into any team in the Premier League. You know, there's it's so many players. Almost every team has a top quality, a top quality. I'll get there in the end. Centre back um, in the Liga. So you got to consider that as well. He's got a lot of competition there. You know, we've got a lot of you know people who are complaining about his signing. A because of his age and B because of his lack of goals last season. It's all context. You always got to look at stats with context. He was playing in a defensive team in a top quality league. I think he finds this league a lot easier. You know, defence is defending in high lines. He can run in behinds. He can create chances. I just see this as a fantastic signing and quite possibly, as the way it's looking at the minute, this could be our biggest signing of the summer and I'm more than happy with that. You know, let's not forget as well, Rodrigo Moreno has had experience in the Premier League um, just over, just under 10 years ago at Bolton. It didn't go well from them, but let's, you know, again, again, a lot of people want to complain about this one. Uh, I know after John Kevin Augustan, naturally, you know, it's one of those where we're a little bit um, nervous to go too over the top and look, you know, I'm a bit nervous to go too over the top, but... It's hard not to. We've got a Spanish international in the squad. A Spanish international in the squad who's actually in the squad at the minute. This is absolutely unheard of. Unheard of in the last 16 years. You know, absolutely unreal. We've got an England international in the squad as well. Potentially a German international in a couple of weeks' time in the squad as well. So, unbelievable, guys. Absolutely unbelievable. And I think we've got eight internationals out on international duty too. Um, but yeah, I mean, where was, where was I coming to then? Yeah, so he's at Bolton. It didn't work out too well for him, but... He's had that experience in the Premier League. He knows how t how tough the Premier League is in certain circumstances. I, I do still think the Liga is tougher for a striker than the Premier League is for a striker. Um, but physically, yes, it's more of a challenge in the Premier League. So he knows what to expect. That's the big thing. Golly Watkins doesn't know what to expect. Edouard doesn't know what to expect. Grant doesn't know what to expect. You know, The only reason I mention that is just I find it a bit frustrating how much mention there has been of those three strikers. And we're talking about a Spanish international we've signed here. A Spanish international who's actually been there and done it and we're signing them. You know, the Premier League, going into the Premier League, it's all about not taking risk and that's exactly what we've done. I'm more than happy this signing. You know how much of a lover of Victor Orta I am. I 100% back his judgement on this one. Four-year deal might seem a bit excessive, but if it gets a deal done, I'm more than happy to get it done. And at the end of the day, 30 million, 35 million is an absolute drop in the ocean if Leeds United stay in the Premier League and have a good season in the Premier League. So guys, I'm going to leave it there anyway. Um, I've been Oscar Marriott reporting on Leeds United's new Spanish centre-forward. Rodrigo Moreno has signed. I'm going to leave it there anyway, guys. Plenty more content coming out in the next couple of days. Uh, Joe Wayman will be doing a live um, uh, stream at some point as well. So guys, make sure you keep the notifications on, you subscribe to the channel, 
and you keep ahead of our content anyway, guys. So, I'm going to leave it there anyway, guys. I've been Oscar. See you later, guys.